hello welcome to this episode guys uh this very video is gonna be a little bit of lengthy because i want to give you guys a lot of information so i call it the valley of the spark plug so across this river here in as much as you have a spark plug problem and you watch this video till the very end this should be able to solve a problem so now Before we dive into it, these are some of the spark plugs here which we're going to be testing but they don't have all the details which I want to show you guys so because of that, I'm going to be getting more guys in here and so without wasting your time, let me introduce them so welcome now, if you look at it here, they look like they are coming from the pit of hell look like they are coming from the pit of hell so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to throw them into this bottle throw them into this very bottle then we take it up from there. That's all. Okay. Now, I'm gonna see the magic here. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more thing here. Drain out the dirt out of here. And start scouting them so you see them. Okay, now let's start to bring them out. And, uh, okay. We got one here. We got another. They are not clean, but at least they are a little bit decent to compare to what they were previously. Okay, so we're having more. And I mean that this is a spark plug paradise. You can see all different kinds of spark plug here. Different kinds. At least this is mostly for Mercedes. We will know why this customer has replaced this spark plug today. This one seems pretty much in good condition. Now we have different defects, which I'm going to be explaining to you guys. Different def defects. So I want to clean them up a little bit. I don't want to get my hands dirty. We can see it's clear as it is. Okay. Most of them are actually put out of car that have issues. We have NGK, we have Denso, Iridium. Now, let the, be the game begin. So, we have different uh, spark plug here. With different configurations i'm gonna teach you different things with different spark plug here so let's get to it first and first we have one here i can see on this very one here if you look at it right now you wouldn't know exactly what the problem that prompted the person to change it out of the system is but i can see it here if we take a look at it critically so watch now look at that this earth is clamping on the on the electrode so it needs to be pushed out and get it back uh, gauged the way it's supposed to be right so i'm just gonna use this to offset it a little bit to give it some clearance okay it has i think some decent clearance but they have a spark plug gauge which is supposed to use to gauge it based on the car specific model so i guess whenever it has this kind of issue the car is going to be misfiring on that very particular cylinder so you need to take a look at it and see if suppose it has right and most of the times it's not going to be misfiring but when you rev up the car it will misfire when it's idling no misfiring but when you rev up the car so now let's go into testing it and see if it goes below the specification of the manufacturer specification through the ohmmeter uh, multimeter here now let's, let's take a look at this one also look at it it's still the same problem so I'm gonna shift it a little bit out okay, okay it 
has given some clearance, but still need a little bit more clearance. Okay, this is the right gapping. Like I said, you need the two to give this uh, spark plug the right gapping. Now, if I pick this spark plug here, I pick this one. Okay, pick this one here. Uh, which other one here? I'm gonna pick this one. I'm gonna pick this. Uh, there is one, another one, and another one there. Where is it? Where is it? Before we dive into measuring the measuring it with the multimeter, I think that one has hidden itself. Okay, this one. So this one has a multiple problem. This very brownish round bond thing you see in here is a sign that there is a blow by. So it might be functional, but in as much as it has a blow by, it's gonna be making the engine to be having some little misfiring. Now if we go over again, the metallic the ceramic has broken, which is gonna be leaving the electrode to be leaking sparks. So this spark plug is good, it's, sorry, it's bad, and need a replacement. Now we go over to the next one. You can see this one here also suffer from blow by, and the electrode is a little bit short. This is a radium spark plug, and this tip here should extend more. So all this that I'm talking about here, we don't need to measure them because they are already worn out even by looking at them physically. So here, we're gonna compare the good reading which you should be getting. Some say that a very good spark plug should be given a range of 3K ohms and above. Anything below 3K ohms, then that spark plug is bad. So we're gonna be com confirming that today. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this into ohmic range, which you can see right now. And I got the, grab the probe. Then we start testing. The one I wanna test first is this one here. Simple, let me take a look at it. Okay. 3.66k. So like I told you guys, from the look point, this very spark plug is in a very good condition and it's not due for replacement. The resistance has proven it and the body, the electrode, everything seems very good, that's why I said. So when most mechanics have no right tools and the right information to diagnose what is wrong with your car, they make you spend a lot on parts. Even when the parts don't need replacement, they also go to replace it because they are just dealing with multiple problems which they can't separate to diagnose. So if we take a look at it, this uh, they, they did not write, but this is an NGK though. We're gonna test another NGK, but this time, this is an iridium spark plug. You can see I are the NGK. So I'm gonna test it and see. We're gonna get a consistent three to four K ohms. We couldn't get a consistent reading. Maybe my hand is shaking. My hand is not shaking this time. So what we have here is 0.8. That's 8 ohms. So this very spark plug here is bad. I need a replacement. So you guys can see the huge difference. So this one is producing 3 point, 3 point something K ohms. And this one here is giving 8 ohms. Now when you're using a test, uh, testing device, a spark plug tester to test it, you will not know the difference, except if you really put it on a bench test without that testing device and try to spark it and create ignition spark to spark the spark plug while you try to give a gap between the electrode and the earth here, that is where you're going to start noticing a misfiring. So we're gonna test, I wanna test this very specific spark plug because I bought it and uh, the person was telling me it's a very good spark plug and I never knew that this could actually turn out to be one of my nightmares. So let me go ahead and test it and show you guys. Wow, I'm impressed. I am quite impressed. 3.6, 3.4 ohms. So this one is good. So I uh, wanna test more. Let's see these ones that have blow by on them. Uh, these ones are quality sparks. I wanna test them and know the reason why they were replaced out of a car because most often times the customer will come and say this spark plug, even as it has a blow by. So I wanna test it and see if the blow by actually affected the resistance. Wanna see? Come on. Okay, I'm getting some inconsistent reading there because of uh, probably my hand is uh, it's not being steady. Wow, this is 4K ohms. So this spark plug is good, but it has a blow by, and it's because of the blow by that actually contributed to it not functional as it's supposed to. So we're gonna keep it aside with this one here. Now let's go 
a little bit different to other mix that is not NGK. Let's go to Bosch and uh, let's go to let's go to China. Let's pick some of the Chinese. Like here, we have a lot of both motorbikes. We have motorbike here for power bike spark plug and most of these ones which you're seeing here are from cars so but this little one here with a 8 mil tread is for power bike so i'm going to be testing it so we take a look at it like this Porsche it's also for power bike but this then so want to take a look at it and uh see like this one here if you're looking at this very spark plug right now you should see that it has a crack on the ceramic here so that could be the reason why i started having some blow by around here but if we test it right now I'm certain that this very spark plug is going to be healthy because I bought it straight from US for my Ford Mondeo a long time ago. And wow, I am disappointed. You can see, guys, this is 9 ohms, not even up to a kilo. So I was wrong. Even as it has a blow by and broke, it's no more good as it's supposed to. It has dropped below 3k ohms. So it's not going to be, it's going to be having a lot of jacking too much fuel consumption and putting an excessive power from the sparks now this one also this one is bad but i want to test it you know how, why i said it's bad because the electrode here the it has shorted and give more gapping and automatically create more gapping for this very spark plug this camera you could you cute me kind of pull this and focus to really good so we're gonna go back here and test it so, so for this very uh electrode that have eaten and created more gap and gap this very spark plug here is it has condemned this very spark and therefore it's unsuitable for your car because there's going to be increase in fuel consumption there's going to be misfiring there's going to be jerking there's going to be poor idle and uh, rough shift uh, rough throttle response but let me test it and see if it affected the resistance i'm going to be doing that and holding only the ceramic area without touching the metal part wow this is shocking it still produces up to three point something kilo ohms which is cool. So, which means in that regard, if you want to reuse this very spark here, you'll be needing to regap it to the standard with the manufacturer specification specified for this very spark plug. But if you can be able to gap it, my own recommendation is going to be to replace it. You have 3. 3.7 3. ohms. <laughs> so, guys. No. <laughs> So, it's still giving a very good ohmic range. There is no blow by here. The only difference are the uh, the tip is burnt, and since the tip is shortened, you can either readjust this very uh, ground part of it to get a little bit closer here using the gapping tool so you can be able to reuse it. But as it is not actually due for replacement because no blow by and no any other further deformities. Now, let's go to this Bosch, original Bosch. Uh, spark it seems like this is an iridium i don't know if it's an iridium no this is not iridium it's just a regular spark so i want to test it and see wow that is 5.6 kilo ohms so this is really lively and as you can see here there is no sign of blow by just dirt because it has worked for quite a long time and uh let's test the chinese uh, one here and see what we're gonna get Well, I want to I wanna take a look at I want to hold it strong so I can know if it has a consistent reading. Now we go. Whoa! Guys, can you see that? This is terrible. This is horrible. I can't believe it. Now, there is no way anyone should have this uh, less than... Oh my goodness. Can you see that? Now, for a lot of you guys who didn't watch the video to this very end here, it's going to say, okay, so look at it. This is a brand new spark plug we bought from China. So the quality is so poor. Oh my goodness. Now, I want to check the Nigerian standard spark meant for some other uh, motorbike around here for like uh, 50, 100 cc. Let's test it and see what we're going to get. Today, like I told you guys, it's the spark plug paradise and the test on different sparks and their... Uh, are you serious? Okay. Let me reverse the... Whoa! This is worse. <laughs> I knew since this one performed very terribly with the ACR8E 
that there is no way this one is going to perform anything close. It didn't even get, this is, this is a little bit lower than this. This is Nigerian quality for China. This is Chinese standard quality. I think this is, no, this cannot be standard quality. This is below standard. This is terrible. I must say, so I want to test it again. So we look at it 5.0.5. Oh my god, ohms! No, no way. I want to go ahead and check this one here. Nice. So this one has more quality than I shopped for this one from AliExpress, guys. So this is this is terrible. Uh, most often, times it can be hard. Are you? Oh no, no. Are you guys seeing this? That is another thing which I forgot to teach you guys also. You need to test. There should be no way this very part here should be making contact with the ground here. You can see it. So it's having a huge leak between here, the electrode, and the ground. So that is not a good sign. I want to prove this to you guys. Uh, let's test the Bosch. Let's test a lot of other spark plugs that are here, like this one here that we have proven to be okay. And it should be... should be you shouldn't have any reading right here if he has any reading then it means something is wrong it should be ol and it's making the right contact right now if it's having any reading on the body then it's not a good one there should be no earth contact the reason why is my hand is touching the part there so it's not making any contact so i want to go back and test this one again with with my hands not touching here to obstruct the resistance i'm gonna test it okay oh that was an error due to my hand touching here so if i put my hands right now it's gonna interfere with the reading you guys can see so make sure that your hand is not touching any of the metallic part while taking the readings so that you don't make mistake but still that didn't pass i want to test uh, one of the original ngk for the power bike and let's see what we're gonna get there see it right there straight up 3.1 kilo ohms so in my benchmark I think this one is also good except you suppose the specification for the power bike is ranging from 5 kilo ohms like we saw on the on the Bosch on this very Bosch right here so I want to go on the Chinese iridium torch let's see what it's got because I bought this one a little bit more expensive than the rest okay Wow, that's impressive. 4.9. Oh my goodness. I'm so well, I'm going to go and find this very spark plug here because there are four sets which I bought that time. And uh, something happened that actually made me start tossing some of them away. And what happened is I misdiagnosed the system because it's running too rich. And I was thinking, and the spark plug was getting fouled. That's why I I quickly lost passion with it. But right now that I'm discovering that it's actually gold. In what's the money which I use in buying it and therefore I'm gonna go ahead and find it and use it to replace it because my testing of this one you guys have just seen what happens so this one is way more expensive like like uh, four like four times or five times this is five five times more expensive than this you can see that the performance is quite different so guys this is where I'm gonna be stopping this very video right now but you guys have seen different testing from different spark plug make a model and uh, now you know exactly what to expect when you're when you're testing your spark plug, when you want to check, you suppose the spark plug you have is a problem, you gotta check if it has a broken uh, ceramic uh, here or here, or it has a blow by here, or it has a short electrode that's actually that has gapped the system, or it have overextended. It has excessive gapping like this one here. You guys can see how this one is a whole lot terrible and it's cracked. So that's all you need to look at when you're trying to discover. You suppose you have a spark plug issues i hope you enjoyed this very video i'm gonna see you guys on the next one bye for now